Hi, I'm Eric with Chicago Flyhouse. So far in our videos, you've seen us talk a lot about compression sleeves for cables, these types of terminations that you see on cables. Well, I wanted to talk about a different type of termination today. I wanted to talk about cable clips. Cable clips are very different than copper oval swages. And the reason for that is that copper oval swages are 100% efficient and cable clips are only 80% efficient. Another main difference between the two is that this is really a mechanical fitting. If you put this on right, it's not going anywhere. And the fact is, is that if you're taught how to put them on right, you're going to put it on right every single time. The unfortunate thing with cable clips is that it's very easy to teach someone how to put them on wrong. And the problem is with that is that you put them on wrong all the time for years and years. And that's one of the problems that we're seeing a lot in our industry. So I want to talk a little bit about how we put them on right. This one is done correctly. And we broke it in the Breakomatic, which is why it looks like this. We have certain things that go on when we're making a proper connection. We want to make sure that we use a thimble, and then we're going to take the wire and wire it around the thimble. After the thimble, we have a certain amount of turnback that the manufacturer recommends. In this case, it's three and a quarter inches. So I have three and a quarter inches from the end of the thimble to the end of the cable. I'm then going to space on my cable clips. I'm going to put one on the end first, about a saddle width away from the end, and then I'm going to put on the second one. When I put the second one on, I'm going to tighten the nuts each going back and forth, back and forth, not tightening one all the way and then the other one. And then I'm going to do that to both of them. Mind you, we also have a saddle, and that saddle is going to go on the live end of the cable. We don't want the U-bolt on the, on the live end of the cable. We want the U-bolt on the dead end of the cable. After we've done that, we've got it roughly placed. We're going to go ahead and take our torque wrench, which is set to four and a half foot-pounds for this size cable clip, and we're going to tighten it down to torque. Okay? Now, the last part to this puzzle that most people forget is we're going to take this, and we need to pre-tension it to a certain amount of load and then re-torque it. Why do we have to do that, you ask? Well, the problem is, is when we put weight on cable, the diameter of the cable actually changes, gets a little smaller, right, because of mechanical stretch. Well, because of that, we need to take this torque wrench and we need to re-torque it. So we went ahead and did that. We did everything by the book. We put this in the Breakomatic and we got to about 1,800 pounds on this guy. So it did really, really well. Now this one we did completely wrong. We did about everything wrong that you could possibly do. We did use a thimble, but we've lost it. It slipped out, okay? We did put on two cable clips, but other than that, everything else was wrong. We didn't tighten it down to torque. We didn't pre-tension it. We didn't do any of that stuff. Now, that's really what you see in most theaters across the country, unfortunately. Most people will put these on with a, a C-wrench or just a regular ratchet and not really know what kind of torque they're going down to. So we wanted to simulate that. Well, we put that in the Breakomatic, and what we saw was that the connection did not break like you would want it to. It actually slipped at a pretty low number. So this is a perfect example of one reason why we want to make sure that we follow the manufacturer's specifications when we're putting on these cable clips. Again, they're only rated for 80% efficiency, so you want to make sure that you're putting them on right every single time.